So I'm just like, you know, looking for commentary and hey, asking yeah. people, uh, you know, pros and cons, any any words of wisdom that they would like to share, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, how do you feel about, I mean, what's going on? Would you say that it's pretty much happening around the world in the same it's vein? A, it's happening in 3,400 cities. And we Canadians need not feel picked on, picked upon. Yes. Because the economy, anyone who looks up something called the art of war. Yes. It was written 3,000 years ago. Yeah. Okay. And the, in that it says the economy is a weapon to control the wealth of any neighboring country. Okay? And the land. It's used to control the wealth and resources of a neighboring country. Right. Okay? Now the reality is the banksters have declared war on the world. Okay? They're doing it in every country in the world. Okay? And it's covered under the international crime of treachery which is collusion with the treasury to subvert the constitution of any commonwealth body. And this case can be heard at the United Nations, or at the commonwealth courts, or at the Hague. Because when you subvert the constitution of one country, it affects the country next to it. Okay, now the reality is, is every constitution in the world is there to protect us from banksters, okay? And the reality is, is they have subverted the Constitution, where our Prime Minister openly says he is here to protect the economy first and foremost. Yes. People should be aware of what the definition of the economy is. Do you know the definition of economy? I know the definition of mortgage. The definition of economy in the Dictionary of Canadian Law is yes. acquiring anything at the lowest price at the most appropriate time in order to maximize the greatest profit. Now, the economy is a weapon used by a foreigner. So when our Prime Minister says it's not good for the economy, what he's saying is, is the Americans haven't beaten us down to the lowest price in order to take advantage of the best time to buy us for dimes for donuts. So it's not necessarily referring to the financial system. The economy, if every, okay, you cannot defend what is not defined. Yeah. That's another thing of the art of war. Yeah. And if, he, if they keep using definitions for words that you don't understand, then, then they've got you beat. You think you're saying one thing, they know they're saying something else, yeah. and they've got you hoodwinked because they're saying the truth. And you'd go beat him in the mouth if you knew what he was actually saying. But he's using definitional words that you don't. And bottom line is the oath to the bar says you cannot pervert the law, okay? And the law is nothing but words and it's done through lexicography. And if you look up Black Seventh Dictionary in the preface, it points out that lexicography is an addiction, okay? That perverts the law. You change the definition of one word, which makes you forced to change the definition of another word, that forces you to change the definition of another word. And it ends up where all the laws are screwed. Like citizen like citizens and the big one that they change is color of office the color of office is what is the duty held in any oath by any public official and it's held by an ancient maxim upheld by greece of by the people for the people and in 1993 the definition of the color of office changed to by the people for the economy under duress of a bad contract namely nafta now the reality is, is NAFTA is shortly replaced thereafter by the NAFTA agreement. And that needs some explanation. NAFTA stands for North American Free Trade Agreement. And that's what we voted on shortly. And it passed by the lowest majority possible. And that wasn't a lie, it failed. But they told us it passed. Okay, and they're right. It passed by the lowest majority possible. They passed it in spite of being failed. Yes. Now, okay, the reality is, is the, shortly after NAFTA was passed, NAFTA came to an agreement with some third party that gave us all away. Now, the reality is, is way back in 1539, when the great charters of England were cast, okay, these were corporations, but they're special corporations under great charters. At the time back in 1539, 
the, 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 the banksters tried to get personhood rights to the corporation, these corporations, these great charters. And at the time it was discussed heavily and they said, no, 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 we can't do that because it would destroy society. They would take over the crown. They would dominate and to subvert everything within a generation. That's what was said back in 1540s when corporations came and said, we wanted to have personhood rights. And it was denied. But now, they do have personhood rights Okay, now. NAFTA at its core is the uh, Great Charter of the Hudson's Bay Company of 1539. Not the Hudson's Bay store with the charter of 1756. Not the no, same the people. great chart. No, the same people, but a different division. Oh. The great charter of 1559 or 1539 is what they're acting under, and it destroyed all economies of the world within a generation. Wow! So they went from sharing, uh, selling beaver pelts and all that to. Uh... Okay, in Canada, we actually have case law of Louis Riel, yeah. where the property, we the people, are the property of the Hudson's Bay Company. And now, with NAFTA agreeing to live under the charter, the, the great charter of the Hudson's Bay Company, we really are, it really is our home and native land. And we whiteies are occupying native land, so we have about the same rights as Métis. Zero. In fact, less than natives. Well, and the American movement. We don't own the, the land. That's huh? the bottom line. We don't own the land. That's we're right. renting. So we're, we're, we're actually squatters all on Ameri on the native land. Okay. Technically, natives have more rights than we do right now. Because okay. they were here first. But because under the Hudson's Bay Company, the Queen made them have the real natives have rights. Okay. But don't you have to be born here to be a native? They can subvert the Constitution all they want. Right now, O Canada, our home and native land, yeah. is actually real. We're all being treated as natives or less than natives. Well, I consider myself native to the land, even though my blood hails from Europe. Technically, I'm a, law, I'm a free man on the land, and I need to be ruled under mar law, maritime, under the law of the land when I walk into a courtroom and they insist that they can ram the law, maritime law or admiralty law down my throat. And how does this trickle down through time and history to where we are today? Okay. How, do, how, how does this affect the situation we're in now? Right now, okay, in 1539, 1538, yeah. uh, to get a biblical slant, uh, Genesis 128, yeah. Genesis 28, where Mo Abraham is told that he will have God's blessing until they become a community of people, yeah. ceased in 1539 because they became the commonwealth, a community of people. Under the queen? Under the king at that time. Oh, the king, right. Okay, and then in 1539... We're all part of the commonwealth right now. In 1530, in 1559, uh -huh. Queen Elizabeth I fulfilled Galatians' prophecy of being a country that where we were we were held to a, cov a a duly recognized covenant, human covenant, that recognizes God as supreme. Yeah. That happened in 1539. Oh, okay, that's good. In 1559, sorry. Oh, oh that's good. Okay, All right. and as to Galatians 3, 430 years after the establishment of the human covenant recognizing God, was, fifth, was 1989, and that's when NAFTA was proposed. Isn't that amazing? Well, I still don't know who they recognize as creator by The name. creator is money. They recognize money they as They recognize God. money as supreme, yes. So the they didn't Mammon, really, so, Mammon is supreme in right. our country, okay? So in, in Satan, basically, they trust. Yes, basically, under the Masonic beliefs, Satan is this god called Shatan. Yeah. And he's actually a attorney general, a prosecutor, the chief prosecutor, AKA attorney general. Okay? Now the reality is is they have perverted the law. Here in Canada in 1982, the the Masons took over with section 33.3 of the charter, which is the notwithstanding clause. 